Michael Jones with Kraft Music. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Elisis Stratacore drum set. You may be familiar with the Elisa Strata Prime kit. Well, the Strata Core uses many of the same samples and sounds as the Prime. It has a smaller footprint at a more affordable price. The Strata Core comes in a five-piece configuration with two 8-inch rack toms and a 10-inch floor tom, as well as a 12-inch snare drum. All the pads are dual zone and feature mesh heads. Another difference between the Prime and the Core is the kick drum. You may remember the Prime has a full-size kick drum, well, the core has a newly designed mesh 8-inch kick drum tower. It takes up less space, it's real solid, and it's very easy to transport. For cymbals, we have two 12-inch crashes and a 14-inch ride. All the cymbals are triple zone and feature 360-degree playability. The hi-hat is especially cool. Elisis calls this their active magnetic hi-hat. It's a 12-inch cymbal, it's very sensitive, very playable, it feels great. The core is very solid and compact. It includes a four-post curved drum rack. It also has three cymbal arms that you can use either as boom or straight stands. It also includes a double brace snare stand. Now the other hardware like kick drum pedal, hi-hat stand, drum throne, those are all sold separately. Now to get a great deal on all the hardware that you'll need for your Strata Core, be sure to check out the bundles at Kraft Music. One of the cool things about our drum bundles is that they're configurable. You can get a single or a double pedal, an upgraded hi-hat stand, different styles of drum throne, anything you need. If you don't see the exact configuration you're looking for, feel free to contact one of our sales advisors and they'd be happy to help. Now let's take a closer look at the Elisis Core drum module. Here we are at the core module. The first thing you notice is a very large 7-inch full-color touchscreen. This first screen is where the 75 user kits are located. You can get to each of the kits by using the jog wheel. You'll have to press it to load the kit. Or you can go directly to the kit using the plus and minus buttons. It loads the kit right away. Here we are at the Acrylic Raw 1 drum kit. If I click on the kit button, I get a more detailed view of what's going on with this drum set. I can touch any of the pads and I'll see which sound is assigned to which pad or cymbal. If I want to edit the instrument, I can go into Edit and now I have a list of instruments to choose from that I can audition directly from the screen and then assign to that pad. If you look at the top of the screen, you'll notice that there are some filters applied. Right now, we're only looking at crash cymbals from the Elisis Prime Acoustic Library. This is a good time to mention the libraries. There are four libraries within the core module, two from Elisis and two from BFD. You can select any sound from any of the libraries to apply to the pads. So I'm going to go into BFD Dark Farm. And here you can see the different crash symbols that are available. Remember, we're still filtering crash symbols. I simply click on it, I can audition there, and if I want to select that one, hit the check, and that symbol is now loaded to the pad selected. Now, if I want to see all of the sounds available in the BFD Dark Farm library, I simply remove the crash filter, and all of the sounds in this particular library show up. This is where I can scroll or audition to see which sounds I want to apply to the pad. Now let's select a different pad. Let's move over to the snare drum. To select the snare, I can either tap on the snare right from the screen, or with hit select engaged, I can actually hit the drum on the kit that I'd like to select to edit. Now that I've got my snare selected, we can do some further tweaking. We can edit the volume, dampening, attack, tuning, dynamics, and pan, all from this screen using the knobs at the bottom. Next tab over is microphones. 
You can adjust the mic placement on the drum. You can adjust the overheads, the rooms, or any combination of them. And on the advanced tab, we can do things like dampening and assign pitch to velocity. As if all of this wasn't enough, you also have the ability to layer sounds in each pad. If you head over to stacks, you have the ability to stack up to three sounds on each zone of each pad. Now that we've customized our drum set, we can save it to one of the user kits. Simply click on the disc icon in the upper right. Now let's take a look at the mixer section. In this section, you can choose any of the drums and use the faders to adjust the volume. You can also select cymbal mics to do the same with your cymbals. This is where you can also access the effects. If you're playing with backing tracks and need to balance your kit with either Bluetooth or auxiliary input, this is the section where you do that. The jam section is where you can load your own tracks that you can play along with. And then the trigger section is where you can do a deep dive into editing the heads. I'm not going to get into that right now, but I do want to show you how to calibrate the hi-hat. This is pretty cool. You click on hi-hat setup and then you follow the instructions. In this case, loosen the clutch and let the hi-hat fall. Hit set. Now tighten the hi-hat to the desired height. Hit finish. And that's all there is to it. You're good to go. One of the other things I'd like to point out on the module is we have quick access to recording, playback, as well as the metronome. And on the back panel, we have an eighth inch auxiliary input, five pin MIDI, USB, and two open trigger inputs. So you can add a couple pads. So there you have it, the Stratocore by Alesis. Big sounds in a compact package. I'm Michael Jones with Kraft Music. Thanks again for watching.